Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. First, yeah. after a divorce, can a man go to have other affairs? Let me tell you, according to the Bible, at a divorce, the husband become an adulterer. Adulterer. He has committed adultery. And she has made the woman an adulteress. Both persons have committed adultery. So both persons should not get married again. That's according to scripture. But I know a lot of people still get married. And sometimes people say, okay, yes, I had a divorce and then now I'm so lonely. If I cannot get married again, I might have another affair. Then I would say to avoid to have more sins, okay, let him get married. But that's not the perfect will of God. You understand this? Yeah. That is not the perfect will. But I let that happen to counsel them. But I'll counsel them first to avoid a second divorce. When I do counseling, I will find out their spiritual life, their relationship with God, then and their ability to relate to each other and communicate and love. Many people cannot love. When you ask someone, do you love him or her? Actually, when they hear that, they understand it to me, do you like her, him or her? They will say, yes, I love him. That means I like him, I like her. But what if one day he becomes different? Do you still love him or her? <laughs> love means you continue to bless the person, yeah. to be nice to the person, to be kind to the person, to help the person. Many people don't understand love. They think it is like. It's not like. So we counsel them to make sure that this man has learned, this woman has learned to love and care and listen and respond and not to nag, not to force. Now, the man generally, it's not always true. The man have a tendency not to talk too much. And the woman has a tendency to talk more and push and want the man to respond and say more and do more things. So it's two, uh, two ways and then they both have to give in. That the man will listen and respond. And the woman has to learn to give some time to the husband, to give him time to think and to respect his decision and give him more space. Okay, so if you ask me, should they have divorce, uh, after divorce should they have affair? No, and no one should have affairs. Before marriage, people should be praying for God's guidance and have counseling from the church to see whether they are suitable to get married. And then they don't have an affair. They have, they prepare themselves for marriage. And marriage should not be guided by romance. This is very important. It's not, oh, I see someone very attractive. I like him or her. Oh, so I will, uh, I like him. And then I start this relationship, no. It start with prayer. I have a feeling, I ask God if this is the person. And I ask God to move the, in the other person's heart to let me know if this is God's will. And then we find out by relationship and by doing things together, working together, serving God together to see how this person would be able, whether we can uh, live together for our whole lifetime. So marriage is for whole lifetime. I would say, in many places, there is a lack of education of how to get married. How to get married is not just going to get the certificate, but where the, how to really keep the marriage well, okay? Now, if the husband has an affair, what should the wife do? And then, when I heard that woman ask the question, she said, how should he pun she punish him? I will tell you, punishment doesn't work. Um, I would say the best is to have a counselor. If not, the two of them will talk together. Do you want to uh, continue build up this marriage? Do you want this marriage to continue? Are you willing to pay the price to have this marriage? If you want this marriage, if you're willing to pay the price, then the man has to give up the affair and stop the affair. And then they have, it's best they have counseling or they learn how to relate to each other and communicate with each other so that they can have a, a good marriage after that. The point is not to punish, but rather to find out whether they can work together and how they can live together happily. 
and in a harmonious way, in a pleasing, a way pleasing to God. Now, should anything be done to punish? I don't think the wife should, but the pastor can. The pastor can stop his ministry, can put him on a sinner's bench, and counsel him to see whether he repents. It's the pastor. The wo woman can tell the, the pastor. And then, actually, if one person has an affair, the other person has the right to have a divorce. And that divorce, then the woman can marry again. Because the man has an affair, then the woman can marry again. But the best is if they can work together. That's, that's the best. Okay, now marriage, is it after the dowry is paid or after the certificate? Because we want a recognized marriage, not a secret marriage. So the marriage is only effective when there is a certificate from the government. Because this is the law here, when you're living under the law. Now before the law, years ago, hundreds of years ago, they don't have the certificate. Then they, that according to the custom, they have the marriage, then they already marry. But now we have the law of the country, then they should follow the law of the country. And they should not live together or have sex before the marriage certificate. If they cannot, now I know many people here have a problem, but if they cannot pay for the marriage certificate, that means they cannot pay for the life together. So they should not get married. But there are some people who are already living together. Then I would say, stop having sex, and if possible, stop living together, or at least don't stay in the same bed or stay in the same room until they can have a marriage certificate. If they already are living together, the best is they can separate and then wait until they can uh, marry. Uh, 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 with a marriage certificate. No, I, for, I forgot this wife has another relationship. If the wife has another relationship, as I said, if one person has another relationship, there can be a divorce or trying to restore the marriage. But if the person doesn't want to give up the affair, then the marriage should not continue. If the person wants to have both wives or both husbands, it doesn't work. 